It's so narrow. PC Pro <laughs> Has this ever happened to you? Understandably so. The myriad of individual components and their functions can easily confuse and overwhelm those who aren't yet familiar with their uses and installation processes. Our specialized team of two inexperienced computer professionals will cover the fundamentals of building a basic computer, including but not limited to tools and safety, troubleshooting common boot problems, proper installation, the importance of compatibility, and the major parts of a computer and their purposes. We will also cover how to install your operating system. In this case, Windows 11 Pro. Computer Components Computer components are essential to a functioning computer. When building a PC, your motherboard serves as your foundational piece. Every component must be compatible with your motherboard. Non-compatible components equals non-functioning computer. A basic computer is comprised of these parts. A motherboard, CPU, hard drive, RAM, PSU, system case, and CPU fan and heatsink, as well as any peripheral devices. Most commonly, a monitor, keyboard, and mouse. Motherboard. A motherboard is the main circuit that provides connectivity to the rest of the hardware. It holds and allows communication between many of the crucial electronic components of a system. CPU. The central processing unit, or CPU, serves as the brain of your computer in taking information, storing data, and outputting results. Memory. RAM stands for Random Access Memory, which is a form of short-term, volatile memory. The existence of this temporary storage in your computer gives applications a place to store information for quick access. Power Supply A power supply unit PSU is a hardware device that converts AC alternating current electricity to DC direct current electricity and then distributes it to power the rest of the computer. Hard drive. Put simply, a hard drive stores data. A hard disk drive HDD is the component, which stores all of your digital content. There are many different types of storage devices, including HDDs, SSDs, M2S, or flash drives. Tools and safety. It is of utmost significance to know the importance and how to effectively operate the tools used to assemble a computer. Using the wrong tools or not taking the necessary precautions can lead to accidents and damage to your computer. This is why it's crucial to use the right tools and follow safe practices when working with your PC. First and foremost, always unplug your computer before working on it. This will prevent any accidental damage to the internal components. Always use the correct tools for the components you are working on. Make sure to use them carefully and avoid using them on active. Power cables or other parts of the computer that can be damaged. For example, you should not use pliers to rip out an intact screw. Your average toolkit will include a screwdriver set, needle nose pliers, diagonal cutters, tweezers, and an anti-static wrist strap. These are the essential tools needed to assemble a PC. When using your tools, it is important to always use the correct screw head for each screw. Failing to do so can result in a stripped or damaged screw, which can make it much harder to remove or replace. Remember, righty tidy, lefty loosey. As well as to always leverage your weight, it uses your effort efficiently and painlessly. Most kits include a variety of screwdriver heads, including Phillips, flathead, and Allen wrench, needle nose pliers, diagonal cutters, and tweezers should all be used appropriately to retrieve or hold things when necessary. Preparation. Preparation is often overlooked when putting together a PC, but it is arguably one of the most important parts. Build prep ensures all of your components are compatible and operational, and that assembly will be streamlined and proficient. Before building, prepare a large and clean workspace. 
Ground yourself by fastening on an electrostatic discharge. EDS wrist strap or by touching a nearby metal surface to dissipate any accumulated. Static electricity. Static electricity transferred by human contact is one of the main ways in which hardware is damaged. Keep a can of compressed air nearby to safely clean any dust or debris from your internal components. Make sure to use short bursts of air as to not waste any and carefully wipe away larger amounts of accumulated grime with a lint-free cloth. Regular cleaning gives you the chance to routinely inspect all of your components before cleaning. Power down and unplug your computer and let it cool for at least 30 minutes to prevent injury or damage. After establishing your workspace and acquiring necessary tools and equipment, you can begin assembly. Firstly, Secure the motherboard into the case. Then, install the CPU, thermal paste, and CPU fan onto the motherboard. Next, slot your RAM. Make sure to not touch the gold pins. Push down until you hear a click. And make sure the pins are lined up correctly. Install your hard drive and plug in your SATA and power cables. Using your motherboard specifications which can be found on your manufacturer's website. Plug in your CPU fan, CPU power, front panel connectors, and 24-pin power connector. You also need to plug in your power, USB, and display cables. Preparing power button. You may now turn on your computer. If everything was done properly, your computer will boot up to the BIOS. Now, you need to install your OS. Insert your flash drive with your pre-installed OS into an open port on the computer and turn it on. Spam F11 or the delete key to open your BIOS. From there, access your boot menu and select the flash drive as your main boot device. Reboot your computer and follow the on-screen instructions. You can now remove the flash drive. Despite your immensely successful PC build, many issues can arise when assembling your computer. Luckily, most of these problems turn out to be only minor issues. Common issues that can arise are often fixed. By doing these three things, validate that all of your cables are adequately connected. Receipt your RAM. Clear the CMOS battery. In this video, we discussed the functions and major components of a computer. We went over the tools and safety precautions used to assemble your computer and how to install your OS. Now you have the knowledge to build your own basic personal computer. Computer, how do I build a PC? Quickest route, no freeways. Computer, do you hear me?